going to be talking about the chemistry of true color paint. True color paint is an organic solvent based paint that uses an acrylic polymer to bind our filing ground pigments to the models being painted. Why do we use an acrylic polymer? Several reasons. One, it is ultra clear, so it does not interfere with the colors being applied. It is flexible so that you can handle your models very easily once the paint is dry. Also works well on handrails for model railroad equipment. It is also ultraviolet stable so that you can paint models that are designed to be going outside, such as G-scale trains, O-scale trains, also RC cars, RC boats, and airplanes. Also, an acrylic polymer of the type that we are using easily dissolves in our solvent system. What is our solvent system? Our solvent system is a combination of six to 10 solvents, which are required depending on what pigments are needed for the color to be made. All sprayable colors are designed to be applied at 26 to 35 PSI using a medium tip on your airbrush. You can spray our paint from 50 to 90 degrees ambient temperature without issue in most cases. Add TCP015 thinner or TCP310 retarder to spray at a lower pressure such as 18 to 25 PSI in very warm conditions or in very humid conditions. True color paint usually covers in one pass any model that you're painting. It never goes bad. This is a single stage paint, which means it does not become brittle over time. Even if some of the solvents should evaporate from your bottle, you could restore it to viscosity for airbrushing by adding five to 10 percent our thinner TCP015, a combination of our thinner and retarder TCP310 or TCP310 by itself. True color paint is very easy to clean up. Acetone works exceedingly well to clean all of the paint out of your cups, your airbrush, any of the equipment that you use for mixing, an acetone is nail polish remover, so it's very easy to obtain. Lacquer thinner will also work. However, you'll need more lacquer thinner to remove the true color paint from your equipment and also dries much more slowly than acetone, thereby not allowing you to do multiple colors quickly. True color paint adheres to nearly every plastic model that's currently manufactured. All true color paint products are sold in one ounce and two ounce bottles. We also produce a 16 ounce bottle of any color on special order. There are very large volumes for manufacturing or doing very large builds, we also make true color paint available in quarts, gallons, and five gallon pails. In the second part of this video, we're going to show just how clear and flexible the acrylic polymer that we have chosen to manufacture a paint with works. For our demonstration of the acrylic polymer, we have made a high load solvent based system for this part of the demonstration. I'm applying the solvent based material to the backing paper used on our masking paper, which is a silicon coated paper to show just how easily it goes down using a paintbrush allowing it to dry overnight and then I will show you the flexibility and the clarity of the polymer system.
we made a high solids load solution of our acrylic polymer and our combined solvent solution to demonstrate the clarity and flexibility of this polymer. Taking a fairly large paintbrush, I am hand applying several thick layers on some silicon coated paper, which we save from peeling off of our masking paper from its backing. The amount I'm putting on is such it will take hours to dry. We made several pieces yesterday so I can have it dry for the demonstration today. Notice that I am using a small piece of scotch tape to lift one end of the acrylic polymer film off the backing paper. You can see the film is so thick that it easily handled by me. The paint you will apply to your models will never approach this thickness. I placed the film onto the cover of one of our printed brochures showing all of our railroad paint product line and you can observe you can read every letter in that line. Taking the same piece I placed it over the wording that contains colored letters and again you will appreciate there is no diminishing of the color or clarity of the letters. One of the larger film sections is again lifted off the backing paper by use of a piece of scotch tape. And now I am showing how flexible the film is by bending it back and forth almost upon itself. There is no cracking or splitting of the film. It is this flexibility that allows you to handle any model without worrying about chipping off the paint. The acrylic polymer base paint will not become brittle over time, so you may store your models for any length of time you wish. Mm -hmm. 